There are over 1.3 million stern drives in use in North America, and more than 10,000 stern drive powered boats sold just last year. Yes, the stern drive is an ideal product for marine propulsion. Yet, there are many myths that circulate along the waterfront about the vaunted stern drive. One of these is that the stern drive was never intended for larger or coastal boats, when in fact, Volvo Penta invented the stern drive in 1958 and soon thereafter entered and placed first in their division in the vaunted Miami to Nassau race, covering hundreds of miles of Atlantic Ocean. This myth is one of many that we're going to bust today, along with the help of Volvo Penta, their dealer Regal Nautique of Orlando, and Regal Boats themselves. Stick around while we bust some stern drive myths. One common myth about stern drives is that they corrode terribly in salt water. Let's see how our myth busters bust that myth. Volvo Penta has been manufacturing stern drives for over 60 years. We've put a lot of research and development into engine technology, coatings, and other materials that are all designed to work against saltwater corrosion. We've switched from cast iron engines and manifolds to aluminum engines and manifolds. We have active corrosion protection, which actually puts some electric current in the water to change the effects of galvanic corrosion. We've put a lot of time into the coatings on the stern drive. Today we actually use a titanium ceramic coating, which is almost impervious to corrosion. Another common misconception or myth about stern drives is that they're hard to service. At Volvo Penta, we've looked at service from a couple different directions. The first way we looked at it is the actual maintenance schedule. In most cases, we took routine maintenance, such as oil changes, and we pushed it out to twice what it used to be. The second thing we've looked at is the actual physical maintenance work that needs to be done. We've put most of the service points either high up on the front of the engine or forward where they're easy to get to. They made their servicing points right on top of the engine. They're color coded, very easy to look at, very easy to service. These days, especially with respect to outboard motors, you'll hear that stern drives just don't have the performance characteristics that boaters demand. That's funny, most high performance boats are fitted with stern drive engines. That's not true. They actually outperform in most cases their counterparts, the outboards, their fuel burn, their fuel consumption, their turn radiuses, the whole shot, you name it, they're on top of it. On the hardware side, we've got V6 and V8 all aluminum closed cool engines with direct injection and variable valve timing. These give us excellent performance, tremendous acceleration, corrosion resistance. On the software side, we have our EVC, electronic vessel control. On single stern drive boats, you can really dial in the system using the weight water sports control. For twin engine boats, we have our joystick feature. It allows you to control the engines with a single joystick. It makes maneuvering in the marina and around the dock much easier. One popular myth about stern drive engines is that they're not marine engines. Originally, back in the old days, they were taking car engines and converting them to marine engines. Now they're actually built for marine-specific applications. We have a seven-year warranty on our Coastal Series products. When you look at a stern drive boat, the obvious thing you don't see is you don't see the two outboards, or three or four outboards, hanging off the back of the boat. On this boat that I'm standing on, we now have a full-width swim platform that's four feet deep. You can use the swim platform for lounging, activities, getting in and out of the boat. You're not having to deal with climbing around the engines. If you're a fisherman, you don't have the outboards that you have to deal with and maneuver around. It's a clean back of the boat.
Boating is loaded with history and tradition. A common saying is that the sea remains the same. Well, what's also true is that marine technology marches on. 